Hello artist. Um, today I'm going to show you how to go ahead and add the weft strings onto your warp strings which are attached to your cardboard loom. So first what you want to do is pick out which side you want to start on. So if you're left-handed you probably want to start on the left. If you're right-handed you want to start on the right. I'm right-handed so I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and have one long piece of the string out towards my right hand and the short piece of this string towards my left. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and crisscross the um, short string under the long string and then take that little short string and bring him up and through the hole and pull real tight. And then you've got yourself a little knot that's going to hold good enough for right now for your string to get started. Now I like to go ahead and sometimes use a popsicle stick, kind of like a thread and a needle. So if you want to do that, you can have a piece of tape like we did before on the back, okay? Um, and you can wrap that around if you want to. That's also very helpful um, if you want to do that. So I'm going to show you how to use this to start off your weaving. So I wrap this around and the masking tape is pretty easy to peel back off or tear. So it's going to act like a needle and thread. You do not have to do it this way. I will take it off here in a second and show you what it's like without that. So I'm going to start over and pick up and go under, over, under, over, under, over. And I'm going to flip this so that string doesn't keep getting stuck. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. and bring it up and then I've got my pattern over under over under over under over now what I do is I make sure that I include my last string because I don't want to leave him out if I do he'll just never get weaved into the group okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go under so it wraps it around and kind of hugs it, okay? So we're like, hey friend, come over here. We're gonna hug you, all right? And I'm gonna go over, under, over, and under. And double check myself, up and down, up and down, and pull it all the way back through. So now I've completed my next one. Now I don't wanna pull too tight, cause watch what happens. This little guy in the end, he's like, oh, please don't hug me too tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that he stays nice, straight and tall. And just push this up. Just like we would did with our paper weaving. Now these right here, these blue warp strings or whatever color that you choose, it's gonna get covered, so it's okay. Because your weft string, the beautiful colorful strings that you choose, are going to hide those. All right, so let me show you what it looks like without this. So if you don't have popsicle sticks left over from your popsicles at home, then this is what you can do. So I just take the end. Again, this was under, so I wanna start over that string. I don't wanna leave him out, I wanna include him, so that my string kinda wraps around and hugs him, and I'm gonna go over, lift up, under, lift up, over and then that's where I'm gonna pull. Now remember, don't pull too tight, just right, and just kind of push that up. So now you can start seeing the little pattern of the blue, the warp string underneath kind of peeking through, just like you did with your paper. Now here's a fun thing. I also, if you have some beads at home, you wanna make sure the hole is big enough that your yarn can go through or whatever string that you choose. And then you can go ahead and put that on there. Sometimes I like to twist this to make it a little sharper so it goes through the hole a little better. And pull it down. And then I'm gonna start by going under. That way this is locked into place. And over, lift up, under. Over, lift up, under. Over, lift up on my last one, and under. Okay, so if I wanna add another bead, I can do that. 
you can add one on each one if you want to. We'll be doing this in class. I have lots of beads I've saved up for us to practice with. So we're going to string a bead and then I'm going to weave all the way back over. So remember I was under, so I'm going to go over, lift up, under, over, lift up, under, over, lift up. And now my string is short enough that I can add on another piece. So I'm going to show you how I tie on my next color. And I tell kids in class this too, I make an X. Oops, my hands are so rough from Germex and washing my hands a lot, so forgive me. So right here I make an X. The small string is under. I'm going to take that and wrap it around the long string. Almost like two little snakes hugging, okay? So it's okay, you can practice with this. It's not the end of the world if you can't get a knot, but we're gonna try. So it's wrapped around. Now I'm gonna take my ends and make another X, okay? This is important, you should know how to tie a knot. We're, what we're doing is, I think it's called a square knot, pretty sure. Um, you're gonna take that small piece, the one that's on the bottom, whichever color is on the bottom, and it's gonna come up and jump in that hole. So it's almost like he's ready to go swimming. And then I'm going to pull. Now I want to make sure that my fingers can help right there. So if you need a partner or mom and dad or whoever's around to help you, you can do that. So that way I'm tying a knot on and I'm ready for my next starting of weaving. Now you can trim these. I try not to trim too close to the knot because you don't want to undo what you just finished. So I'm going to just give it a little haircut right there. And then you just keep on going. So just remember, wherever you left off, I've left off going over, you're gonna take your new string and it's gonna venture going under. Over, under, over. Okay, so I'm gonna to get to the end and then you guys can try this at home. Or in the class, because I'm showing people in my class too with our videos. And pull, gently and push up. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys.